All right. Torch on ground, Archer 81891, run up complete. 81801, Torch on ground, runway 18, taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha to 18891. Alright, All right. you are clear right. Crosswind taxi, correction with the ailerons. Yep. So how's your CFI been going good? It's been going well. Yeah, it's really busy. Really, really busy. I'll be doing my double eye check right in a couple days, and then I'll do my multi add on sometime after that. Probably in the winter. Oh. Like teaching me, we'll be doing some IFR work. Yeah, together. definitely. It's a whole new animal, so I recommend getting ready to spend a lot of time flying and studying on the ground. Yep. Georgetown Tower, Archer 81891, holding short, runway 18. Archer 81891, Georgetown Tower, proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, proceed on course, runway 18891. Victor, base approved, runway 18, cleared for the option. Clear for the option, runway right, Final is clear, the runway is clear. Yeah. And this is runway 18. And it's coming straight down the runway now. Now it's left. Yeah, it's pretty variable. Typical summer wind. All right, yeah, feet on the brakes, full power, airspeed's yep. alive. Alive. There we go, good ailerons. All right, let's get as much head time as we can. So, my controls. Your controls. My controls. You'll put those guys on. It might be easier to take your headset off, too. I, I find it easier to do that. Okay. Yeah, take your time. You're good. My controls? Your controls. Let's keep climbing out at 500 feet. We'll make a left turn. Standard rate to uh, zero, oh, it's one zero zero. And just like the last time, we're developing an instrument scan, you know? So we find our main instruments that we're looking at as we're flying. But we're not trying to fixate too much on one instrument. Bumpy today. A little bit. All 
A typical 1 p.m. I guess. What altitude are we climbing to? Let's go to 4,000. We have some VOR tracking to do. Okay. And so, you don't have to talk about it out loud, but just uh, start thinking of what you know about VORs and how we're probably going to do this. Okay. But just like always, we'll maintain 80 to 85 knots on climb out. And I have the eyes of the airplane, so I'm looking out for traffic. And then okay. check out that new message that popped up on the GPS. Okay, so no traffic. Traffic is failed. Yeah. That's what I hate about this plane. That's why I bought the... Uh, the Stratus or Stratus, the, yeah, yeah, the ADSP? Stratus. Yeah. yeah. I didn't feel comfortable with this on my cross country. Oh, really? Well, if you use it for IFR, just know that <laughs> the, the environment's a little different, but it's the same concept of flying, so it'll be okay. I do recommend this plane for IFR, though. It's uh, This is a really nice GPS. I think it's probably one of the best in comparison to the others that we have. Um, and I think all these backup analog instruments are really good as well. Yeah, I like the analog. Yeah. So how much uh, hood time does it test you on the test? Um, it's uh, pretty minimal from what I understand lately. Maybe... Five minutes of hood time. Vehicle Victor, runway one eight, clear for the option. It'll be hood time and then uh, VOR tracking, unusual attitudes, which we'll do both of those today. And uh, switch me over to Austin Approach 119.0. We'll still maintain 100 and keep climbing. Yep, so whenever we tune with, the, with our comms or the GPS, I do three turns of anything, look back at my instruments, do a scan. Go okay. back to the GPS, do whatever I'm doing, scan. Because whenever we start going places, you know, if we want to go to back to Georgetown, okay, there's Georgetown, and I have to enter. Now I got to load this approach in. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. It becomes really bothersome right. oh, yeah. to look here for up to 15 seconds at a time, and then you forget your instruments. Okay. So you. it's all about that scan that we develop. Austin approach five orange uh, seven twenty is with you. Five thousand to exit to the field. Five Orange 720 Austin Approach, expect runway 17 left and planning. Give me a direct to the field left now. turn 090. Private Orange 720, Roger. Um, I didn't have time to talk to the other controller. We filed under the wrong number. It's a different type airplane, too. Do you need the information? Private Orange 720, uh, what is your type? A BE 40. Private Orange 720, Roger, no worries. Wish we had the other one. Austin approach Archer 818901. Me too, sir. Remember 818901, Austin approach, go ahead. Uh, 8901 up here by Taylor, probably five miles to the northwest, requesting direct to the Syntex VOR and then back up here to the north after we cross. Remember 8901, squawk 0231. 0231891. Never met two Mac X ray traffic, no longer factor. Okay, I'm going to do a Mac X ray, thank you. Jump check. Okay. And 216. Never met two Mac X ray, runner. The carriage is down. Here. 
Never Marriott 901, radar contact, five miles south east of Georgetown, altimeter 2989. You said you want to go to Syntex and then back northeast now? A fire meet under one. Austin approach, Jerry 44 Echo Charlie with you, VFR climbing to 9,500. Hey, do you ever carry a VFR section with you? Charlie, yeah, send no. approach altimeter 2989. Okay. Right, so the next time, we need how much of time again? Private 1720, 1. direct 1. R2 approach, okay. and contact approach 125.32. Good day. So we'll probably sit down on the ground and look at the VOR on there. Uh, but looking, actually, someone left it in here from yesterday. That's kind of perfect. Austin approach, altimeter 2989. Alright, so... Private Orange 937, give me the runway again and the fix. We can just keep this heading. Private Orange 720, you can expect runway 17 left by heading oh, there we go. Zero for now. And contact there we go. Alright, so... Good day. Perfect for our location right now. Find the Centex VOR for me. Private Orange 720, it's 25. Find what? The Centex VOR. And if you've never seen it, it might be hard to find. Is that it? Yep, right there? that's it. And so we have the information about the VOR. It's right there on the right side of the VOR. So it says Centex. It has a frequency. 118.8, if I'm correct. Yep. All right, so the first thing we do whenever we... So what we're going to do is track radials on this VOR. Okay. The first thing we do is... 8901, contact approach 127.22. 127.22, oh, 127 sorry if we missed that. 8901. That's good. 12722 on there for me. And you're just going to say uh, Austin approach 8901 or 8901 with you, 3900. Austin approach, Archer 81891 with you at 3900. Feet. I'll give it a little bit of time and see if they answer us. Don't approach again. November 891, Austin approach, Austin Altimeter 2980. 2988, 891. There we go. All right, so the first thing we do whenever we uh, track, start tracking the VOR is tune in to and identify the VOR. And so what's the, what's the frequency for that VOR? Yep, okay, cool. So it's in there, nav one. The first thing we're gonna do is tune in to and identify it. So nav one, just push that switch down up there, yep. There and then press that V button right there. Just press it in. Oh, not that one. Sorry, the other V. Uh, this on that that knob. Just press in on it. Comes up ID. So now we're gonna look at the Morse code that's next to that VOR in the information box. And we are gonna make November sure. November eight nine one. Uh, were you going to navigate towards Syntex or are you just maneuvering in the vicinity of Taylor? Uh, we're going to intercept the 020 radial and then uh, go inbound to the VOR. 891, Roger. Alright, so we can just confirm with that Morse code. A little different if you haven't heard Morse code yeah. or if you haven't used it. Yeah. But that's what it is. So okay. now you can press that V again, turn the ID off, and then turn off nav 1. Okay. Come up there and turn it off. All right, and so now we're going to press the CDI button. Press it until it says V-Lock. There we go. Okay. So we're going to be using Nav 1 here. You're going to turn this OBS until I get the 2 indication. Sears 5, Charlie Mike, contact Houston Approach 1. You're going to take me to the VOR. There we go. So whenever that needle centers yeah. up and down. Yep. All right, so what heading do we need to turn to go to the VOR? We need to go to zero zero. All right, let's do it. So give me a standard rate turn, so you're going to line it up with that second notch on the yep. turn coordinator, or the first one, and ball in the cage. And 
you might want to add some more power. We're at just at 2050. There we go. 2200, 2300 is a pretty good power setting. And then now that needle has moved off to the right a little bit. And so it's not all the time that you need to change it and find a new heading. Sometimes you just need to go and grab that needle. And so what you do is fly closer to it and go intercept it and then turn on that heading. And we're not going to use the bottom one. Uh, that one's an operative. That would go with nav 2. Yeah. A little bumpy. Yeah, a little bumpy, but that's what we're training for in the hood time. So you're going to get into a cloud. You're going to get bumpy. You're going to get all tossed around, but it's how we react to that. All right. Yeah, so you have, feel you, like I'm there. Yeah, you have the basic understanding of this, which is really good. It's less that I have to talk. Um, but so, you get the two indication, you turn that OBS until the needle is straight up and down right there in the center. Eight, nine, one. Traffic off to your 10 o'clock and about 8 miles northwest bound to Diamond Star there at 4,000. Uh, what altitude were you looking to cruise at? Uh, we're going to stay at 4,000, but we can go down to 35, 8 nine, one. Eight, nine, one. Uh, Roger, maintain BFR at or below 3,500. Out of below 3,500, 8901. All right, we heard the gentleman. But yeah, so we get that two flag, and then we fly to that heading wherever that arrow is pointed to up there. Yep. And so what we're going to do is fly to the VOR. You're going to fly me there, and then once that flag flips from two to from. There's an inner off flash across two set at 4,000, cleared our down for a way one three to, approach. Uh, come back outbound and track an outbound radial. Cleared our nav, one three approach. Diamond Star 349 on the shot. And as we get closer to the VOR, it gets more sensitive. That needle's right. gonna start moving left and right, left and right. So we just gotta be careful with what we do. And at that point, it's kinda useless to move the OBS and get it to center up with us. We just have to start following that needle and go chase it. I go left, right? Middle. Yep, you would go to the left and go chase it over on that side. Yep. And then get it to line up and turn back to that heading. I got you. And departure, uh, uh, good afternoon. Southwest 3,000 here. Uh, runaway heading at uh, 2,200 feet for four. And don't get so below 3,000. Departure rear contact here and left direct to Allied. Allowed. 3,000 is the ladder, the vertical yeah, limit of this like class delta is, uh, here, okay. and so we can't get yeah, into their airspace. Southwest 3,500. We can say between three and thirty three thousand and thirty five. Centurion four four Echo Charlie with you climbing to nine thousand five hundred. Centurion four four Echo Charlie Austin approach Austin two nine or eight nine. Two nine or eight nine or four Echo Charlie. Alright, looking good so far. So it was thirty five fifty one, climbing maintain one two thousand. One two thousand, southwest, thirty five fifty one. Yeah, afternoon approach going down or four six eight two one one thousand. Remember 9462 Austin approach, Austin altimeter 29 or 89 or? 29 or 89 or 62. We were in clouds, this is one of the things we would do for IFR. Um, Roger 9 one after you uh, get to the VOR, what are your intentions? I let outbound on a radial and come back up to the north, 89 or 1. 9 one Roger. Uh, so, I mean, in IFR we do some VOR approaches. And so we're, we use this VOR, and we specifically, you know, the inbound course on the approach would be... Roger, one climb to maintain VFR at 3,500 traffic, 12 o'clock, and uh, 8 miles opposite direction, indicating 2,400, and that diamond's off to your uh, 10 o'clock now and 3 miles northwest bound of 4,000. All right, up to 3,500 VFR, 8 one 9 off of Foxtrot traffic, 1 o'clock, 3 miles southwest bound, climbing out of 3,100 for 3,500. Yeah, so we would use it. And I have our Yeah, I thought he said at or below 3,500. That's why he I did. Went below. Yeah, but now uh, I know That'd this class delta is 3,000, and so that's why I said that, but now he's changing it to 35. Okay. So we'll just maintain 35 the entire time. Here in Charlie, traffic at your 2 o'clock and 3 miles leveling 7,000 is a uh, citation. Okay, Charlie, we'll look for him. Yeah, I'm looking for the diamond, but I don't see anyone off of the top. We got him going underneath us. Before I could try to maintain the separation. There's 35. So we'll level off. Now we're 891, 
uh, 3,500, please. I'm showing 3,700. So uh, 3,500 is the altitude you need to be at. And traffic at your 11 o'clock and 2 miles is at 4,000. At 3,500, and what's the altimeter setting? Altimeter 2,989. 2,989 or 1, 3,500. Thank you. Southwest 3551, contact Houston Center 132.15. Good day. 2,915, Southwest 3551. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, positive traffic. Right there. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Ellis, go. Not enough clocks up. We've got that traffic inside. You know, factor. Yeah, we're sure. Just keep right there at 35. And we're watching that needle as well. So it's a nice scan between those two. Okay. And we're trending down, so let's pick that back up. Uh, I thought the altitude was off. You said we were 200. Uh, we're reporting to him right now. We're reporting 35 okay. and descending, and now we're level, so we should be good. Archery 91, uh, both uh, traffics are no factor. Just maintain BFR there at 3,500. That'll keep you on top of the class Delta at executive. Oh, okay, yeah, traffic no factor, and we'll stay at 35 over the Delta. 891, thanks. Cessna 1 November Delta, contact San Antonio approach 127.1. 27.1, forward over Delta. Keeping that needle pretty close, looks good. And like I said earlier, the closer we get, the more sensitive that needle gets. It's gonna start moving like crazy. At that point, just keep your heading. We're gonna fly over the VOR at some point and just look for that flag flip and then just give me a 180 and we're gonna track the radial outbound. And so if we're tracking whatever that is, 205 inbound, what's our outbound radial that we're on? About zero. Five. Yeah, 025, which is exactly what the reciprocal is down there. So whenever we go here, we see that flag flip, we're just going to turn 025 and track the 025 radial outbound. So here's our DME page, distance measuring equipment, and so from the Syntex VOR, we're five miles. Austin approach, Mooney 40 Tango Bravo with you, 11.5. Mooney uh, 40 Tango Bravo, Austin approach, Austin on 2980. itself on the ground? Uh, in simulator, yeah, I know what they look like. Have you seen this one in particular? No, never seen it. Uh, it's a pretty basic VOR. Looks like a, a white house okay. in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, good job with your needle. You're doing really, really well. Thanks. Your steady flight is pretty good. We have a message popping up there. Let's see what it says. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, almost. Almost, yep. We'll keep time with that. And there it is, in all of its glory. Here. Uh, we're about to pass over it, actually. It's right next to a high school. Well, let's watch that DME, and we're going to look for the flag flip. And this needle is, about, is getting really, really sensitive. We're less than a mile away from it. So there's no way to keep it centered. Just keep this heading. Okay. And we're going to watch that flag flip to to front. Okay, it doesn't know, so we just move right over it. Yep. So it doesn't really know where it is right now, but then, from. Right, so uh, go ahead and track me on the zero, or actually the outbound radial that we're on now. And we're going to go outbound from the VOR. What do you want to do? I want to go outbound from the VOR. So if we're going in on 205, take me outbound now. All right, so go 025. Yeah, whatever you think works. Go ahead and uh, at the same time, turn that OBS as well. And then we're going to do another flag flip at that point, but we'll just go back to the outbound radio. Mr. Niner, Foxtrot contact the executive tower and the radar services terminated. Talk to you soon. Contact tower, and we'll talk to you on our way back out. Niner, Foxtrot. Delta 2355, contact Houston Center 132. We're in. crossing the VOR once again. If you want to look, it's actually right down there. See that football field? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. that's what it is. Thanks. And so what, what's going to happen is we're going to cross it again. We're going to get another flag flip. And then you're okay. going to be tracking from the VOR on the 025 radial. So this right here is 025. So yeah. we're going to be going, we're going to track that radial and we're going to come. Track it, intercept it, and go out on it. Okay. And so we're still going to the VOR. It's it's going to get that confused state where it doesn't show anything. Oh, actually, okay, cool. There's from. All right. And so now we're just going to go catch that needle on the 025 radio. Okay. But if you check out down here, this actually gives us information about the VOR we're on. The next VOR, Charlie Whiskey Kilo, we're on the 042 radial, 041, 040, we're slowly making our way there. And the, like I said, the closer we are, the closer those radials are together. Right. The further we are, the longer we have in between each radial. Whenever we're 60 miles away, we have one mile in between each radial. Awesome approach, King Air 550, Golf Lima, 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 well, 7 left, we expect it to go. We might as well be descending now to 6,500. Approach, good afternoon. 2740 X-ray, Papa 7.7, descending VFR and executive with whiskey. There we go, so let's just follow the 025 radial outbound. Delivery 340 Extra Pop Austin uh, approach. Hey, this whiskey's coming at Executive Austin, I'll tell them to 2988. 8 thanks. Austin approach, Archer 891. We're heading back northbound from the radial, so we'll go ahead and cancel flight following. 391 Rider, Raider services terminated, Squawk VFR, and frequency change approved. VFR, frequency change approved, thanks for your help, 891. Yeah, you just press VFR for us. 
Yeah, we're just gonna hang out on their frequency for a little bit. All right, can I go ahead and uh, jump to Jack? Uh, sure, if you want to. All right, gas is not full of tank. I'm gonna put the fuel pump on. I'm going to switch to the left tank. On the left tank. And the carriage down, obviously, you're set already. Seat belts and uh, fuel pump. Now we go back into cruising, right? So this is already set, so I just go back to fuel pump off, right? 7,500 exactly. 4, 6, Good. 9410 Quebec, all set approach, expect runway 17 left. So normally this is whenever I would take you to a cloud and fly through it, but there are hardly any clouds that are worth flying through right now, so we'll just deal with this. Uh, climbing up to 5,000 though, we're just going to do some flying around, so 5,000, okay. and we're going to stay on the 05, sorry, 025 radial. All right. you go for your solo cross country? First one I did Fredericksburg, then Lano, then back. My second one was a lot more fun. I went up to Waco and to College Station. Oh, cool. You hit the college towns. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. And uh, College Station's beautiful from the air. Yeah, it's a really neat little town. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I've flown there a couple of times for instrument training. Awesome approach, Skyhawk 355. Not that you can see much whenever you do instrument because this is all you can see until you're 500 feet above the ground, so. Yeah. That's what the GoPros are for. <laughs> yeah. There's six Mike Alpha, the Squawk 2536, 2536. Oh, sorry, 25-36, six Mike Alpha. Contact one zero miles northeast of the executive airport at a three thousand one hundred. All right, go ahead and intercept the zero three five radio for me. Uh, just check your OBS one more time for zero three five. What? Uh, check your OBS one more time. Oh, for, yeah, there we sorry. go. There we go. Uh, every little difference matters. Yeah, right. And so now we're thinking about our intercept angle. And we have to look at a map for it to kind of make sense, unless you're really good with it. But if we were 025 and I want to go 035, I have 10 degrees to hop over. So I don't want to fly a 90 degree angle and then intercept it. Right. I want to make it like a 45 degree angle and then intercept it. Okay. We don't want to be too adventurous and hit that really hard and then not be able to turn outbound. So think about your angle that you're making. You know, if you're going zero nine zero, that's probably the most I would do. Okay. Uh, the needle is already starting to come in, so that's fine. Right. So we can take out that angle more and more as we come along. Interior and 4 Echo Charlie, contact Gray Approach 120.07. 120.07, 4 Echo Charlie, have a great day. And we'll get on that radial and
Okay. Okay, good. That needle is coming in. But notice how that needle came in fast first, and now it's slower and slower. Because yeah. we're getting further and further from the, from the VOR. We were 9 miles, now we're 13. And that's not your fault, it's natural. We're going away from the VOR. But just realize that intercept will take longer the further away we go. Right. If we're coming towards the VOR, that intercept is going to happen a lot faster. And departure 177 Golf Alpha is with you 2,000 for 3,000. The 468 heavy, uh, 14,700 setting, 11,000 from the two C4 arrival. November 177 Golf Alpha, Austin departure, climb and maintain uh, 7,000 ID. Going up to 7,000, here's the idea. Times at 468 heavy off center purchase, expect runway 17 right now. Missed that part of the check on verify it is kilo. 468 kilo and 17 right. Oh, I see a cloud. Okay, uh, take me 30 degrees to the right. We'll stop VOR tracking for now. Okay. Sorry, I I like doing the cloud with people because it makes sense. Okay. Um, it, it really helps understand a little better. Give me 20 to de 20 degrees to the right and keep climbing. Let's go up to 6,000. Okay. Two four out, Fox shot, heading two nine zero, uh, one seven left. King your 7 Golf Alpha, climb, maintain 1-2000, turn right, direct to Corpus Christi. Up to 1-2000, direct Corpus Christi, thanks. 177 Golf Alpha. Alright, let's do 090. Zero, nine, zero. Oh, zero, nine, zero. Yeah, sorry. I didn't guess that one too well. Uh, and we have 0. 0.6 hood time so far, that's good. 15, descending 11 on the uh, Suzy 4 arrival, we have Kilo. There we go. And we'll keep climbing. Alright, uh, bend the altitude at one two twelve thousand. If we can get a vector off to the right, we're just getting in their uh, in their wake now. Southwest uh, fifty sixty three right turn right heading uh, of two three zero. Alright, right turn two three zero, south fifty sixty three. Okay, we'll keep climbing, keep climbing. As just south of Austin Executive, climbing from one thousand five hundred to three thousand. All right. That was for four alpha foxtrot, nine or alpha foxtrot. Remain this frequency. All right, six thousand should be good. Two four alpha foxtrot, contact approach. And then go ahead and move your hood around if you can, so you can just see out right now. You can probably just move it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna hit that cloud right there in front of us. We'll keep climbing up a bit. We'll hit the, the, the top part of it. I don't know how thick it is. But what we're going to do, I just want you to understand what it's like to be in a cloud, because it's wide out. It's completely, every side of you, each one of these windows is like someone spray painted white. Right, it's pretty cool. I've it's seen fun. it in snow, but I've never done it. In yeah, life. exactly. So yeah, let's level off here. You can give it some just cruise power. And then realize once you go wide out, you're relying only on your instruments. Right. You do your instrument scan, mine would be airspeed, heading, altimeter. And... It's just complete wide out, you can't... It's bright, but you get some, can't see anything, that's the problem. Right. And we're gonna see weakness level the entire time. Yeah. This one wasn't too thick. But yeah, so I mean it's wide out. You can't right. see much. You're lucky if you can see up. And it's all about just relying on these instruments. We're not going to get into an unusual attitude. We're going to keep it pretty normal. But that is a cloud. Nice. And so you just you can't trust your feelings anymore. Oh yeah, I can tell how my feelings were. 
yeah. telling me one thing. Exactly. That was exactly. different. So let's go back to uh, 360 on the heading. Okay. Sounds a 460 heavy contact approach, 125.32. Southwest 50, 63, descend. 6,000 feet? Oh, yeah, 6,000 feet. And then we enter the radial. Um, also, if I ask you where we are in relation to the VOR, can you tell me? 07, good day. Wait, 07, have a good day, 62. Um, here, let me get on. Can I get on 360? Yeah, about it, of course. Most likely a question you would get on the check right whenever you're under the hood. Alright, um, can I play with this? Yeah, of course, that's that's part of the whole answer, yeah. I am intercepting a 045 radio, so okay. I am kind of north east of it. Okay, cool. So we're, we're on the 045 radial from the VOR, shooting right. out from the VOR. And the last bit of information we're gonna I want to talk about for VORs is you understand that if we want to go, if we're up here, so you said we're what, 045 something? Yeah. Chris Taylor, we're actually up here. Seven right localizer. If, if I want to go to the VOR, I have to put in these radials down here. Right. I'm going to yeah. go to it. I'm yeah. going from it, I'm going to stay on these that are on my side. Yeah, on side, yeah. And so if I were down here at Cedar Creek, how would I go to the VOR? To VOR. Okay, perfect. You got it. I'm not worried about you. VOR tracking is fine. So let's go, um, this is Lake Granger right here on the GPS, so just take me back in that direction. Okay. And just send me down, because I don't want to bust our cloud minimums anymore. So we can go down to 5,000. Okay. And we're going to do some unusual attitudes. And remind me whenever we get on the ground to uh, dissect your logbook. Okay. I just I want to look through it so I can see everything that you've done so far and everything you have left, which it just sounds like hood time, right? Yeah. Okay. Check right for up. I guess we're here. You're gonna learn that I hate the term check ride prep. <laughs> and it was, it's specifically because I've taken on students that say they're check ride prep or check ride ready, and I get in the plane with them and I see some really bad stuff. Okay. And so I end up saying, hey, we need to fly 10 hours together. You know, I need to really fine tune some stuff. And they're like, no. Jerry would never do that, or this person would never do that. And I'm like, well, but the check ride isn't going to go too hot if we stay where we are. So, um, I just say we're going to, we're just fine tuning the small details. But I'll definitely let you know when you're check ride ready. Okay. And we've only flown once together? Yeah, we only flown once together. So, we still have, we have to fly at least three hours in the past two months. Alright, so. I'm going to put you in a unusual attitudes. I'll level us off. So my controls. My controls. Uh, you can keep looking at the instruments for now. You're fine. I'll ask you to put your head down and close your eyes. Okay. Uh, I'll let you know when to do that, though. Uh, but what, whenever we are in an unusual attitude and we're pointing up at the blue, what do we do? Push down. Well, yeah, we push down. And we level the wing. Uh, okay, so... Add power. Add power, right. that's number one. Yep. Number two is get that nose down to the horizon first, and right. then wings level. Right. So in the blue, power through, nose down. Okay. Three things. What if we're down uh, toward the ground? Uh, we cut the power and pull up to the horizon, and then... And so it's a little different because we start talking about load factor on the wings whenever oh, okay. we're powered down. So in the brown, Power down, wings level first, and then oh, take okay. the nose of the horizon. Right. So, it's really, you can, the only way I memorized it was uh, in the blue power through, and then nose in the sky means I need to put my nose down first, and then my wings level. Okay. And then in the brown power down, wings level first, and then take your nose to the horizon. Okay. So, go ahead and uh, put your head down and close your eyes. And I'm just going to put us through a series of turns, climbs, descents. I'm trying to get your 
And her ear all messed up. You're good, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your open window made a... Okay. Yeah, I'm just a relative wind is coming in there, word. Okay. Uh, Alright, go ahead and recover. Nemo 713 Whiskey Tango, Austin Perch, expect roll my 1 to 7 left. 7 left, 3 Whiskey Tango. Okay. So you went wings level, that's good. Yeah, we were like right, it was right. Yeah, the we were a little nose down, I would have pulled that power too. Oh, okay. uh, but that was good. That was good, I'll get you in something worse. So uh, head oh. down and eyes closed. I'm not known for my unusual attitude, so don't be too scared. I don't think they're that great, but uh, I think they'll be okay. 2532, southwest to 2546. Alright, go ahead and look up. There we go, good job. So you power through. Get that nose down a little faster. So nose down first, and then okay. wings level. All right. So it's bam, power, nose down simultaneously. Okay. Uh, that's good. Let's do another one. Head down, eyes closed. All right, go ahead and recover for us. Four six eight two, contact Houston Center one two eight point zero seven. Awesome, awesome. So you power down, wings level, and then the nose. Yeah, it's not too bad. No, it's pretty. It it's just, pretty you feel a little easy. dizzy for a minute. Yeah, but. yeah, you're trying to reestablish everything. Yeah. The hard part is when I go partial panel on you and do unusual attitudes. When you do what? Partial panel. So I would cover this up and I'd probably cover up your turn coordinator and you would have instruments, only three instruments to rely on oh, and wow. see if you're turning, uh, going up and down, and you might use this one. It's pretty unreliable though. But that's more of an instrument, so I'll save the misery for that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's do another one, but okay. you're gonna you're gonna close your eyes, put your head down, but it's your controls. I'm going to be putting you into an unusual attitude, but so that's when it gets kind of tricky. So head down, eyes closed, and then give me a left turn. And we're developing the feel of the airplane too. So if you're descending, you can hear that prop get faster. Approach Navo three whiskey tango requesting descent. Hello, three whiskey tango, descend maintain five thousand. Yep, all right. Give me a uh, a right turn. Three whiskey tango. All right. Go ahead and recover for me. Here we go. And the brown, power down, wings level, then the nose. Good job. Thanks. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I think it's the easiest. <laughs> um, all right, your engine just went out. Okay. Uh, Can I take the hood off? Uh, or do I? Nope. Actually, just just take me. Well, okay. I think I. No, nope, never mind. I pulled the power at the wrong time. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh. That's another instrument thing. I'd also make you do maneuvers in the panel as well, under the under the hood, but that's a little too much. Um, okay. Let's uh, give me a, a right 180. There's a bird. Sorry, I'm just gonna get us out of its way. Okay, air controls. Yeah, just do a right 180 standard rate. And how long does it take to turn a standard rate turn 360? Um, is it? For one minute. Ah, look at the turn coordinator. Oh, two minutes, yep. Yep, two minutes. So what is 180? One minute. And 90? 30 seconds. Yep, exactly. So you can cut it down into fourths if you have to. 
Everything's looking good here. We want as much hood time as possible. And we're at 0.8 already, so that's good. And you know how to work the GPS, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's stay out here for a little longer. Uh, roll out at 180. Cessna 57 Echo, contact Houston Approach 124.22. 124.22, have a good day, 57 Echo. Grab a drink. Yeah, controls. my controls. My Your controls. controls. Oh, <laughs> almost wore that. <laughs> Out of uh, 17 for 13,000 across the 250, we have x ray. There's another water back there if you need it. Oh, okay, I'm good. Thanks, though. That was a line. Who was that? My controls. There are controls. We're leaving out 16 and a half for 13,000 uh, across 250, we have x ray. Do you like roller coasters? Yeah. 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 Roger. I can't find an exact correlation between pilots and roller coasters and liking them. It's like always kind of hit or miss. I assume everyone would, but surprisingly not. Okay, let's uh... Let's just do a... actually, no, okay, so we're at 4,000 feet and the... you can uh, just go visual for like a couple minutes really quick. Okay. Our engine is on fire, so what are you gonna do? Our engine's on fire, I am going to pitch down, uh, well, I'm going to shut everything off, right? And then I'm going to pitch down to try and put the flames out. Okay, well, so technically we're going to get the checklist, so go ahead and grab the checklist really quick. And pull out the engine fire checklist. And all you, that's the hard part. Good afternoon, Austin Approach, Piper 512, Charlie Sierra, passing through 5000, landing San Marcos with Juliet. Okay, fire and flight. Okay. Let me just read through it. Fuel selector off. Throttle closed. Mixture cut off. Fuel pump off. Cabin heat off. Defroster off. Prepare for landing. Okay, so checklist complete. You'll put that away. And actually, take your throttle all the way down. It's 30 degrees, pitch down, level me off at 3,500. Yep, so a little more bank there. Yeah, a little more, so it's going to be oh. 30 degrees, and oh. pitch down. Yep, okay. so I'm getting that fire out. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get the smoke out of my way. There we go, it's 3,500, so we're going to level off. All right, now it's a power off landing, like the checkbook, like the checklist said. Yeah. So, take me to your best landing point, and right. we'll go through the regular emergency from here. Hands are at two zero zero. Okay. So I need to find a place to land out to the wind. Okay. First thing I need to do is aviate. Thank you. Let's glide. Land on that field right there behind us. Okay, take me to it. Twenty-five thirty-two. Whiskey contact approach one two five point three two. Good day. Navigate. Twenty-five thirty-two. Good day. Three whiskey tango. Actually, that's a better field right there. We're on a downwind for it right now. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, I know where I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and uh, investigate. I'm going to look at my uh, fuel selector. Well, the engine was on fire, so we know it's not going to oh, start up. Oh, okay, I thought you had an engine out. No, I'm sorry. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. My way to that. But you do want to go ahead and secure everything else, so I'd probably just run right to left again. Alright. Put everything down. Okay. Um, from right to left. Open that door. Okay. And uh, communicate. 
Seven seven hundred, communicate to Georgetown. Call you when I'm on the ground. Okay. November nine or four. And you are going to set us up to land. Are we going for this lighter for field? This, this build here. The lighter one or the darker yellow? The one on the right, because the gradient's that way. Okay, so what else can we do if we have to get down? The slip. Okay. Power out, or we're getting kind of low. So I wouldn't land here. Huh? I would land here. You would? We have trees right here. You actually oh, think yeah. you would make it? Yeah, so uh -oh. I would land here. I don't care about the furrows at that point. I care about these trees oh, okay. that are going to kill me. Right. So let's go around. Wrong. I would go for this field or this darker one that's just past it. Okay, all right. My biggest thing there is have an alternative because we would have went straight into those trees and <laughs> it's not the engine out that would kill us, it's the trees. So if even we go with straight the slip, it. it wouldn't have slowed us enough? No. no. Okay. So I would have kept that altitude, continue to this field here, or just sidestep it to the left. Okay. Yep. But overall, that was good. And then you can go back under the hood and take us back to Georgetown. Uh, can I get another drink? Yeah. My controls. Your controls. Thank you. Your controls. Your controls. And I'm going to get you to start checking these messages that pop up. Um, not only is it good for whenever you transition to IFR, but if it's our equipment, we want to know what's going on. So. All right, we need to switch tanks anyway. Okay. Let's get up a little higher. This is a check right thing. If you're too low, some examiners don't like it whenever you switch tanks. Okay. I say 1,500 feet is good enough. Um, so about 2,300 MSL. Delta 881, trying to approach 125.32, good day. Which way is Georgetown? Delta 881, we're To the west. I'm going to turn. Okay. I didn't know if I could do that. Yeah, it's Jared, your... Jared never lets me do it. It's your airplane. At this point, I don't care. You already got past your cross country, so... But I'm going to treat this like a little supervised solo. I'm not going to talk anymore. The rest is all you. We'll do a full stop. Going to tower 20.3 and clear the visual to 13, Jets v 14. Approach, Baron 158, Romeo Whiskey, level 9000, direct NAP to Soda. Good afternoon. Baron 158, Romeo Whiskey, Austin Approach, Austin Simmers 2988, good afternoon. Up on five. 2988, hey, Romeo Whiskey. Right, Tank. Departure, Sirius 931, Delta Romeo is with you. Heading 00, 1000, call me 2000. Sirius 931, Delta Romeo, Austin uh, Approach, I dent, Austin Simmers 2988. I dent, I dent 2988, 931, Delta Romeo. 
Everyone, Delta Romeo Radar, contact to mile north of Syntax VOR, 1,300, climb maintain 7,000, fly heading 050. 7,000, 050, 931, Delta Romeo. Radio in at about 10. That's, is that the proper for you? I'm just sitting here. I can't say anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm just going to do what I've learned with Jared. So. Okay, yeah. Am I under the hood till we get there? Uh, yeah. Yep. So everything is you right now. I'm, I'm still looking outside for you, but all this operational stuff is all you. Southwest 2161, contact approach 125.32, good day. 2532, South 2161, do they have our request? One Delta Romeo, fly heading zero two zero. Zero two zero, one Delta Romeo. Georgetown Information Whiskey, 1851 Zulu. Wind, 15011, gust 18. Visibility, 10. Sky clear below 12000. Temperature 35, 2.21. Altimeter 29901. Visual approach in use, landing departing runway 18. Bird advised resume effect. VFR aircraft advised directional flight. All aircraft requiring a run up advised prior to taxi. Advise on us to contact, you have whiskey. Tower Cherokee 75005. Cherokee 75005, Georgetown Tower. Uh, yeah, uh, 005, we're about uh, seven miles south, uh, descending to 5,500 feet inbound for landing. We've got whiskey. Cherokee 005, Roger in a left downwind, runway uh, 18. Left downwind, 18, 005. Short time tower, Archer 8189-1. 12 miles to the east, inbound for landing with information whiskey. Cherokee 
Check your 005, squawk 0625 for me. Archery 18901, uh, George Santa Roger, squawk 0624. 0624, 8901. Archer 8901, report the left base, runway 18. Report left base, runway 18. Cherokee 75005, runway 18, cleared to land. 005, clear to land 18. that they like us to get to pattern altitude. Yeah, three miles out. So you hit it pretty far out, but at the most I wait until I'm in the delta when I do pattern altitude. Okay. I don't like it that low. Yeah, seven miles is a bit much. Cherokee 005, where are you parking? Uh, 005, going for some gas. Let's turn left there. Delta Alpha Echo to the pumps and monitor ground on 119.12. Okay, uh, Alpha Echo to the pumps, uh, monitor ground, 005. Good afternoon, Georgetown Tower, Cessna 1232 Golf, uh, about nine and a half miles to your southwest, inbound for a full stop. Cessna 1232 Golf, Georgetown Tower, and the right down.